Hey guys, it's Rob again. I uh, thought now would be a good time to give you an update on uh, the channel, on Propeller Head, and, and, and what we've been working on. Some of you may know we had to uh, put Propeller Head on pause. Uh, both Mark and I were going in different directions with regards to work and travel and that kind of thing, and we just couldn't get together enough to start shooting, uh, to, to keep shooting that is. We're still very interested in it and we're looking for ways to still shoot uh, new content and have some fun with it. But the time is just not right right now because we're both doing really cool things. Uh, so speaking for myself, uh, you know that I've been working on apps that can ha help the paranormal community have a, have a voice on the web and a good place to, to chat. And I'm still working on that, but it led to some other really cool ideas. And I actually brought in a partner to help me launch a company to actually flesh out some of these ideas. Uh, the cool thing that happened was that my wife and I found the ability to actually work on the road. Uh, it's something we didn't think was possible, but considering the times are a little weird, um, we actually started uh, traveling across the country in a travel trailer, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm actually in New York State, believe it or not. Check this out. This is a really nice place. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, all the way from California, believe it or not. And uh, I've had some really interesting places to visit, uh, learned a lot of things along the way, but continuing to work on the business. So this has been great. Uh, so I hope, hope it's interesting enough for you guys to follow along with. Understand if it isn't, but I'm still working for you. Uh, so what I wanted to do today was show you how to sign up for the latest app we have, but um, let you know I'm still not letting go of the, uh, of the idea of Propeller Head and the channel. In fact, uh, on the trip, on the way across country, uh, I actually did stop in Roswell, check it out. That's pretty fun. And uh, met the aliens there, of course. That was in the Roswell, in the museum there. And also, I went through Pascagoula. I don't know if you guys know the case of um, Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker, but look up Pascagoula if you don't know that one. It's super cool uh, abduction story, and it's probably one of the best documented ones uh, besides uh, Betty and Barney Hill. In fact, there's an audio recording they just released of, uh, of the guys in the sheriff's office in Pascagoula. And I thought I would show you this on the map. You might get a kick out of this. This is actually where Calvin said it happened. Not something you knew before. Uh, it's not been shared, shared very often, but this is the, the, the stop where they were fishing on the night that it happened in Pascagoula. And I'll show you where this is so that you can uh, you can look it up yourself, but it's right near the bridge. And I'm gonna zoom out here so you can see it. It's on the Pascagoula River right there. And I'll switch it over into this mode so you can see, what is that, Denny Ave, that's Highway 90. So it's right next to Highway 90 where the Pascagoula River comes in. And that's where the guys were. So I actually went right by there and was able to take a look at that place and, you know, it's been a long time, so it's hard to make anything of it, but it was still cool to be able to go there. So there's lots of other things I've, I've checked out, but nothing where I have new content for you just yet. So um, let me move on to uh, telling you a little bit about uh, Drift. So the cool thing about Drift, which is the new app we have, is that it's kind of like Linktree. It's a place where you can put all of your links in one place, but it goes one step beyond that in that our idea is that you, you never lose a contact. So you never lose your audience. So starting here on the homepage, um, one of the cool things about Drift is that it's not just a place to share your links. You also can save contacts. You save the people that you follow into your contact list. And uh, whenever they make an update, you automatically have it. So you never lose contact with where people have gone if they change, change platforms or add something new. You automatically have that information and you never lose it as long as they continue to use Drift. And the same thing goes for people who follow you. As you move around or change your links, you can actually uh, update people and send out a notice to let them know. So that's, this is why uh, Drift is a place where you can actually find people. You can actually look up people to follow on Drift uh, based off of keywords that are trending or, or tags that they use. So that's something that's different than those other platforms. Uh, it's not a social media site. There's not networking that happens here. It's just a way to save contacts and in a really efficient way. So let me show you how to, to, how to sign up. So my computer's uh, running on, uh, obviously, slow internet these days, being out in the campground. 
So bear with me if we have some, some, slow, uh, some slow refreshes. I'll try to speed it up. Uh, in any case, uh, here we are at the sign up page. Now you can use your own name and uh, that will be something that uh, is already then in place. People will see that. But we're going to automatically derive what your initial uh, drift link is going to be from this. So if you'd rather start out with um, putting in a name that you want to use, like uh, let's say I might use um, Rob Drift or something like that, you can use that as well. And it will try to use that as your uh, initial drift link. So it just saves a step. Uh, what I'll do right now is I'll go ahead and use, uh, I'll use Rob Drift and see what we get with that. Now I'm going to put in my email. Got to use an email in order to sign up. Uh, and a password. Let me keep it simple. Don't guess it. And then an invite code. And I told you what you could use um, for a short time. This uh, code is going to expire after a while, but if you want to use it to sign up, you still can. And it's going to uh, give you pro lifetime. So if you see this video, I'm going to hit sign up and going to go through the process of actually uh, signing me up and also creating a QR code that links to my uh, drift link. So it takes just a minute for that to, that to work. Okay, here we go. Now we have to confirm. Uh, let me go into my email and get that email confirmation. Okay, I click confirm on the email and it's opened me up in a new uh, new window and taken me to the profile page for Rob Drift. Look at that, I got, I got the name I was looking for. Welcome to Drift. This page is your public Drift profile that followers will see when they visit your Drift link. So I can use slash Rob Drift or slash D slash Rob Drift. And the slash D just lets people know it's a drift link. So uh, versus, you know, sometimes you use an at sign for certain things or a hash for a hashtag. Uh, you can edit your drift link to, uh, to a more desirable name if you want by visiting the account link in the menu or clicking the buttons below. Use the settings tab at the top of the page to customize your profile design. I'll show you about that. And to add link cards, which is the links, that's the whole reason we want a drift, uh, drift account to your profile, use the profile link in the menu. We've started you off with your first one. All right, let's check it out. First, I'm gonna, instead of going to account, I'm just gonna take a look at the, the start off uh, account. So what I've got here is, it looks like a header in this design um, profile image, which I haven't put in yet. I can see by the tag that I'm pro. So there's my drift link, Rob Drift. Haven't chosen any tags. I got two drifters already. I wonder who that is. And uh, joined in September. Um, obviously I can add myself as a contact, but that's not gonna help me very much. And then uh, here's my first uh, drift, uh, my first link, which is uh, to drift. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can share the profile and there's my QR code, which links directly to this page. Um, you know what, just out of curiosity, let's take a look at what this looks like on a phone as well because you can obviously um, share this on a phone. This is an iPhone X. I'm just using Inspect on uh, Google Chrome. And not too bad. There's your links and then there's how you share the information. So uh, let me close that. So we've signed in. Um, I'm gonna just go uh, one more step and then show you what you've got here as far as being able to create a link and uh, then I'll leave it at that and I'll save the rest for another video. So let's switch over to account and let's say uh, I wanna change my drift link. All right, so here's my information on my account page. There's more info that I can add. Oh, there's who I drift and drifters. We'll take a look at that later. There's analytics we can use, all right. I'm on the VIP plan, that's cool, doesn't expire. Uh, haven't used uh, any groups, but just the unassigned. That's cool. There's my notifications. So let's see here. I'm going to change Rob Drift to something else. So let me edit that. Um, 
I'm gonna leave my name as it is, but I want Drift to be uh, maybe drifting, Rob drifting. Let's see if that works. Yep, that works. So I'm gonna hit save. That's gonna create a new QR code for me and then change my link. So uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but now I'm on Rob drifting. So that's pretty cool. I've changed my, I've changed my link there. Uh, just remember that any links that you have created um, that you've shared that were going to the old drift link will now be broken. They won't be able to find you. But any contacts that you have added will, will automatically still be connected. So that's the great thing about Drift is that when you add people as contacts or when people follow you, uh, you never lose track of them, even if they change their link. Pretty cool. All right. And then the other thing we were going to take a look at is on the profile page. Here we go on the profile page. Uh, you can, of course, uh, update information such as your image and your name, uh, add some about data. So let me just do that. Let me pick an image here. I'll put in something fun there. And let's see, I'm gonna go with, uh, there's my fun little guy. Uh, All right, and then what tags am I interested in? Oh, look, check it out. I'm gonna go with uh, maybe development and I don't know, entrepreneur. Yeah, let's go with that one. I'll stick with those two for right now. Yep, and of course I can view my profile again if I want to. And now let me add a card. So let's add a link card. And uh, I will add, let's see, maybe my Instagram. Let me add Instagram to that. So popping over to adding a link card. Now the cool thing about this is you can choose to use something that's already in the list or you can just customize it yourself. So uh, we try to give you a little bit of a uh, of an idea of what you're going to be uh, creating by showing you an icon that kind of represents what the contact card looks like. I mean, what the link card looks like. Uh, so there's there's some custom ones you can do where you can set things up for yourself. Um, just to make it easy, I'm just going to go ahead and search for Instagram, which is right there, and click it. Now you could link to Instagram from um, from another card type if you want. You can set it up however you like. I'm just using Instagram because it automatically has the the uh, uh, the icon there and that kind of thing. So I'm going to call this uh, hot takes on Insta, and then uh, uh, any of this. <laughs> Uh, just adding a couple of pieces of info here. And you can see I'm updating in the card. So that's what my card's gonna look like. That's pretty cool. Now, if people knew me as a different icon on Instagram, I could actually choose that here. Uh, we don't yet have the ability to grab it right from Instagram. Uh, we are gonna be adding that in the future. So as you can imagine, there are lots of, of um, APIs that we will need to connect to in order to be able to do this automatically. So right now, we just give you the ability to put whatever you like there. Just remember, if you update your uh, your avatar on your social media site, you might want to update it here so that people make that connection. So we could upload a new image if we want, change the icon as we talked about. And uh, let's see, username. Well, on Instagram, I'm actually, uh, was ink. There we go. And now it's updated on the card. Um, when you create cards on Drift, you can have four different levels of privacy. So public is for anyone that sees your card uh, that you've created, a, you shared a link with. So that's what you can do with the public. But we go a step further by giving you three more link privacy levels. So you can actually group links together that aren't even public. Only people who are in your contacts can see those links. Uh, maybe you've got some special forums that you participate in and you just want to keep people up to date on what your username is there. If you change things, 
Um, this is totally up to you. We just wanted to give you the flexibility to do that. So well, we name those different privacy levels, friends, business, and private, but really just think of it as three other groups that you can use to uh, group your contacts into so that uh, you have those different levels of privacy. All right, well, I'm gonna hit save on this card. See what happens. Okay, cool. I can see my new card here in the in the in the profile settings. Uh, you know what? Um, I think I want to tap on this and move it up because I want it to be on top. So I'll just make that change. And now let's take a look and see what it looks like. So I'm going to view profile. All right, there's my new logo and my information has been updated. Just here to demo drift, developer, entrepreneur. I got two drifters, I still need to find out who that is. There's my new link card. Great, well, I hope you guys like what you're seeing so far. Uh, clearly you can see that it's a great way to add links and share it with the world. All they have to do is drift you, right? So just say drift me in your name tag and uh, your drift tag and people can follow you. Um, easy to share in your profile. Um, you see that it's got a, um, uh, a D there, but you can actually share it without the D and it will automatically find you still. Let's see that happen. Looking for Rob drifting. And there you go. So I hope that's something you guys think would be uh, cool. I will show you how to change the settings for your profile and, and choose different layouts. Uh, of course, we have a couple that are for pro as well, which you probably will be. So I'll take a look at those and uh, I'll show you the rest of the settings, such as um, what your homepage uh, will show you when you log in and also uh, how to uh, look at and search for contacts. So stick with me and uh, I appreciate you guys following me. Let's see here. And uh, hopefully you'll be around to give me your feedback on these things and uh, follow along as we continue to make it better and better. Uh, I also have another app to, to talk to you about and uh, get your feedback on. So stick with me and let me know what you think of these videos. Uh, I'll keep going and uh, hope to see you again. Thanks, bye.